You're a tiny, helpless speck drifting in the ocean, surrounded by a swarm of siblings who are just as clueless as you are. Your mom? Gone. Your dad? Nowhere in sight. Congrats, you're officially a male octopus. Congratulations! And the ocean is not exactly a cozy playground. Predators are everywhere, and you're essentially a snack-sized squish ball with no clue how to defend yourself. Your survival plan? Float, hide, and pray that something bigger doesn't find you. Oh, and did I mention that your life as a male octopus comes with a built-in expiration date? Yeah, don't get too comfortable. Let's talk about what you've inherited. You're one of the smartest creatures in the ocean, armed with three hearts, blue blood, and a brain that rivals some mammals. Impressive, right? But don't celebrate just yet. Your life is a tragic comedy, not a success story. First off, you're a cephalopod which means you've got no bones, just a squishy body that screams easy prey. Sharks, eels, and dolphins all want a piece of you. Your only defense, camouflage, ink, and running, well, swimming, for your life. And then there's your love life, or should I say death life. Being a male octopus means your final act is to mate. That's right. After finding a female, you deliver your genetic material, and then you die. No romance, no happy ending, just a slow, lonely demise. Life as a male octopus isn't exactly a dream. You've got eight arms, which sounds cool, but do you know what it's like to control all of them at once? It's like trying to juggle spaghetti while running from a shark. Then there's the constant hunger. You spend most of your time hunting crabs, clams, and fish, using your arms to pry them out of hiding spots. Sounds easy? Think again. Every meal is a gamble. Either you catch dinner or you become dinner. And don't even get me started on the ocean itself. Currents toss you around like a piece of sea trash, storms churn up your hiding spots, and pollution ruins your already tough life. Finding a safe place to live is harder than finding a Wi-Fi signal underwater. So, basically, your childhood is chaos. You're born into a free-for-all with no parents, no guidance, and a million predators. Your diet is a struggle. Hunting crabs and fish is a full-time job with no guarantee of success. Your love life is tragic. Mating equals death. No exceptions. And humans are your worst nightmare. Overfishing, pollution, and habitat destruction make survival nearly impossible. If you're lucky enough to make it to adulthood, congrats! You're now a highly intelligent, eight-armed genius who can outsmart predators, most of the time. But every day is a challenge. Will you find food? Will you escape predators? Will you survive long enough to mate and pass on your genes? And let's not forget, even with your amazing brain and camouflage skills, you're stuck in a body designed to fall apart. It's like being handed a Ferrari and told it'll explode after one road trip. To sum it up, here's why being a male octopus is the worst. Your life is short and stressful. From birth to death, it's a fight for survival. You're constantly hunted. Your love life is a death sentence. Mating is your grand finale. Humans are ruining everything and your body is a ticking time bomb. Once you mate, it's game over. So yeah, it sucks to be a male octopus, but it would suck even more when you have a great body, but you're protected by the government because everyone want to kill you, especially humans. So, how does it feel when your useful body becomes your ultimate enemy? That's the life of pangolin. Stay tuned for next episode, Why It Sucks to be Born as a Pangolin.